Hello everybody, my name is Amanda and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about some of the tools that I use to streamline my productivity when it comes to preparing for university or studying or just kind of organizing my everyday life because I have recently acquired an iPad Pro and this is the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. I've worked in a tech store all summer and I've told people how good this piece of tech is all summer and I've longingly looked at it all summer long so I decided as a kind of finishing up work gift for myself to get it and I must say that I'm extremely happy with it. It has worked wonders for me so far. So in this video I want to share some of the tools and apps and programs that I use both on my iPad but also on my MacBook that helps me be more efficient when I work and many of these apps will be available for Windows and Android as well if you're not in the Apple ecosystem and I hope you find this video really helpful and inspirational and without further ado let's jump into it. So here on the home page I basically have all the apps that I use for university and studying and then on the second page I have all of the other stuff that I kind of use on a day to day basis. Up here we basically have all the apps that come with the iPad, so the calendar, the clock, the maps, the notes, the books. Then I have one folder that's called productivity where I keep all the Google stuff like Google Docs, Google Drive, which I use to basically when I work with other people on something I will use Google Drive to share documents and they can comment on it and that type of thing. It's just very streamlined but I don't prefer to write in Google Docs, I do prefer Word for that. But the main app that I use for everything in my life basically is Notion. It is the best app that I've ever found for anything and I've made an entire video on this channel about Notion and I use it mainly on my computer but it also works really well on the iPad. I would kind of label Notion as the perfect bullet journal but in a digital format because you can customize it so 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 much. Uh, if we just go into my undergrad I used it a lot for my dissertation so here I have kind of an outline with everything I had to do and since I'm done with my dissertation now I've uploaded the file here as well so that it's safe and I can access this from all of my devices. What I did use the most was actually tables like this where I would add in all of the sources that I was working on and then I would basically save all the quotes that I might need in the future when I was reading them the first time and then I would comment on the source as well and kind of see how it fitted in to the overall structure of things. Notion is fantastic. The second app I've found is actually one that works really really well for annotating PDFs. It's called Liquid Text and basically what I do with it is I will open a file, import a PDF and then you have a workspace on the right side and then you can work on the PDF on the left side. So here if I want to say that I want to highlight this I can auto excerpt it and then the one reason why I wanted to find this one app basically is that I can do all this auto excerpt and then I can choose to export notes just my notes all the quotes and everything and it will end up in a in a separate document and it's a lifesaver if you don't want to type out or you don't want to copy and paste another one that I've been using recently is Libby and what I do with this one basically is that it connects to your library card and you can borrow ebooks from it. Since for my master's course I have to read a lot of books and I don't really have space to buy all the books that I need to read currently, that means that I can borrow them virtually here and then I can read them through the library on the iPad and it again works wonders for kind of my particular situation. Another app that I've heard a lot of good things about but I haven't actually tried out yet is Perlego and I know that they do like this kind of free trial thing which I'm gonna try out but it basically they advertise it as a Spotify for course books so you can go in and search for uh, a lot of course books that you might not want to spend a hundred hundreds of pounds on you just pay a small monthly fee and you get access to their entire library so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that out 
and besides that I just have Zoom and Gmail and Outlook and that's kind of what's on my homepage right now and I think it really works because a lot of literature is about reading and extracting information and that's why all of the apps that I have are kind of geared towards that purpose specifically. I know that two other popular apps are Notability and GoodNotes 5 for writing out uh, notes on the iPad but I don't really use my iPad for note taking that much. It's more of a reading tool for me, which means that uh, I haven't really downloaded any of those, but I know that if you wanna use your iPad as your primary note taking device, those two are supposed to be phenomenal. And there are thousands and thousands of videos out there on uh, which one's the best or which one might fit for your particular purpose. So then I think we should quickly run through how I use my computer in junction with my iPad because I want to use them as tools together and my primary goal is to use my iPad as my typing tool where I do all my writing and then do all my reading on the iPad. But another really cool thing that I think I'm going to try and use a lot as well whilst doing all my writing is to use the sidecar function which basically lets you use the iPad as a second screen to your MacBook and I, I'm just really impressed by how seamlessly this works and I'm really excited to kind of work with it more where I have my notes on the iPad whilst I type on my MacBook. Just streamlining the process because I know that I'm going to be so overwhelmed with work this year that the kind of all the time that I can save on the tech side the better. So I don't really have too much to talk about here on the laptop. Basically I use Notion a whole bunch here as well and I think this is where the program works the best. This is definitely the program that does it all for me. But what I wanna talk about is this program that I'm gonna try out this year as well, which is called Zotero. And it's basically a citation manager that lets you save all the citations to this big library. And then you can also, but then you can use it with a plugin that goes with Microsoft Words and you can use it to add in sources as you're typing from Zotero and it will basically, once you're done, generate a bibliography for you. So I'm excited for when I'm going to start writing essays this year because I'm definitely going to try it out and I hope that it's going to save me a lot of time and that I won't have to sit and take an entire day to just do citations like I did when I wrote my dissertation last time. But then I also have the liquid text uh, on here as well because I think this is the best way to work with it with Notion. Because from the computer is usually where I do all the exporting. So I will go to this right here and I will export the notes and I will not say what type it is. I will export it and then files and I will call it notes and then save and then I can go to uh, my notes in finder uh, let's see iCloud Drive, articles and books and then I have this doc here that's basically all the quotations that I picked. So then I will copy these ones into Notion where I'll usually have all of my sources compiled. Page And then I'll just, oops. and then I'll just add them in here, because Notion is still where I want to keep all my stuff. But overall, uh, this is definitely how I'm gonna start doing things because copy and pasting or typing out all the quotes takes forever. So I'm really, really happy with how this system is working out so far. So those are basically all of the productivity apps that I use to streamline my working process, and I still use my trusty bullet journal as my calendar because I like that kind of physical aspect of it and it makes me remember things better when I do actually write them down so I don't have a virtual calendar that I use. And I also try to not overwhelm myself with apps because it's so easy to fall into that trap of just kind of researching apps and making the work be about the apps or the systems rather than the work itself. So I think that having a limited amount of apps that works really, really well for you is definitely gonna be the way forward. So I hope that you can use some of these that I have found really helpful and integrate them into your workflow. So that was basically all that I had to share with you guys for today. And I hope 
that you found this video somewhat helpful and that you are all excited about the start of uni this year. I am incredibly excited and I hope you guys have a really, really good one and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye.